I just love the feeling of being in the water. It's my happy place. Everybody can enjoy it in some way, whether they're paddling in it or taking their dog for a swim or swimming in it themselves. I mean, it's a real centre of Wanaka. It's just such a shame when it used to be so like beautifully clear and now it's just, it's just kind of murky. Lake Hawea, where there's less people around, um, it's a different colour water, it's a bluey colour, and it's really, really, really clear. Now, if we go back five, six, eight years, I think many people can remember that Lake Wanaka was of that, that clarity. The water has changed. We've been doing a number of studies on water quality on the lake. The project's called Touchstone, and we've been working with the Wanaka Lake swimmers. So what the swimmers have found when they swim around Ruby Island is that they get covered in this goo and the goo basically affects their swimming and they're asking questions about why is this stuff in the lake, where does it come from and what can we do about it. Things are changing and, and obviously Wanaka is getting more developed and there's issues with stormwater getting to the lake as well. So that changes the water quality and it changes people's experience of swimming. Behind me in the lake there, there's a, a very large stormwater drain that flows into Bremna Bay. And Bremna Bay is a really popular swimming spot for children and, and local people. There's high levels of bacteria and sometimes a lot of sediment from building sites flowing out into the bay. This drain is a really significant pollution source. Just recently, there was a wastewater spill. Regrettably, the infrastructure in Monica is getting a little bit stressed by the number of people coming to live here. And now and again, those spills make their way to a drain and then they'll make their way to the lake. My nephew learnt to swim in that water, you know, at Bremner Bay and it's a great bay for kids for playing and stuff because it gets really warm and it's a shame that it seems to be so kind of polluted these days. We need to find solutions. It needs to be intercepted, it needs to be managed. But the reality is we just need to look at the things that we can put in place to help the environment manage the stuff that humans do. We've worked a lot at our raising awareness and talking to the council. I suppose there's a lot of talk, but it's not happening fast enough. The more we talk, the more pollution gets in the lake and, and it slowly degrades in front of our eyes. There's a sort of saying, dilution is the solution to pollution. And that's essentially what's happening here. Simple things like what we each individually put down the drain or how we wash a car or cross connections by builders making an honest mistake and the outcome of that problem, that little mistake, is poos and wheeze in the lake. Death by a thousand cuts, a little bit here, a little bit there, each one of those makes a difference. And the lake is really by many people are here. so. We've just got to take utmost care.